Over the years, Ball State women's volleyball has become a place of comfort for players across the country. No example reflects that more than Kara Bates and Lisa Scott. Their friendship began years ago on the University of Maryland volleyball courts, long before Ball State. Two years ago when Kara was being recruited by Ball State, she sent two or three videos of herself playing so I could evaluate her as a player. And as I watched that video, I was really impressed with this other really great athlete on the Maryland team. And when Kara came to Ball State, she told me that this great athlete that I was really impressed with by the name of Lisa Scott was not playing her senior year because she just didn't enjoy playing volleyball at Maryland University. Bates transferred to Ball State her junior season. The best friends kept in contact talking every week. Then one afternoon, Scott received an unexpected phone call. She called me and said, hey, I just had a meeting with my coach and he brought your name up and would you even be interested in playing again? And I was like, well, I don't know, may like, maybe. I told myself no, but maybe this is an opportunity that I could um, really thrive in. So I left it open and I told her I'd call her back later after I talked to my mom. So, and then, like she said, that's how we got the ball rolling. I was like, hey, uh, so my coach was just wondering if you like wanted to come on a visit. I know it's kind of weird, and I just kind of like blew it off as in, like I didn't really think that she was going to have any interest in playing. She had a year off, um, and she was like, really? And then it kind of just spiraled into that. But I finally got to have a conversation with him, and we talked for a good 20 minutes, and I just really felt comfortable, and he really told me like his vision for what this year was going to be, and his vision for me, and how I would fit into the team, and um, he really let me know that he had thought a lot about it. A year removed from volleyball, Scott decided to make the 600-mile jump to Ball State and rejoin her friend on the court, this time in a Cardinal uniform. Well, they're, I mean, they're best friends off the court, and that, that really makes it special. They're very comfortable playing with each other. You know, they did that for two years together in college. And uh, I think the fact Kara being here made the transition so much smoother for Lisa as well, knowing somebody here, especially being her best friend, that went on last year to have a great season here. So I think that really made Lisa more comfortable when she arrived, the fact that Kara was here and they played together. So yeah, they're just like two peas in a pod on the court together. When she came here, it was just kind of everyone else was just putting a face with a name because they'd heard about her and I had spoken so highly about her. And um, on their visit, they were able to kind of get to know her and I talked about her so much, they were probably annoyed with me, but so they already knew who she was. And then um, obviously they knew that she, we were teammates for two years, um, so they knew the background of the whole thing. The Cardinals made it to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2002 last season. If the Cardinals are to make it back to the dance, Scott will need to play a vital role. She was actually, within two weeks after being here, our team voted her a co-captain. So the fact she brought instant leadership to a team where she didn't even know our girls, that says an awful lot about the impact that she's made on her team from a leadership standpoint and the character that, that Lisa has. I hope that I bring a sense of leadership to the team. Um, I appreciate that the coaching staff looks at me like that and in that way um, I hope that I can help other people become better players and whether it's just from encouraging them or giving them a piece of advice or something, you know, small things but that I think um, kind of help. Rather than looking too far into the future, both Bates and Scott embrace each moment together one serve at a time. I mean playing, like I always have fun playing with Lisa. I love being with her in the front row. Like she brings a lot of energy, she's a stud. So um, play, the playing aspect, it, really nothing's changed. Uh, she's the same player, I'm the same player um, and we're just having a lot of fun and I'm really excited that we get to spend our final volley collegiate volleyball season together. It's a really unique opportunity that I'm getting to play with one of my best friends. After all that happened, I'm just excited to be able to slow down and have this time now um, to uh, enjoy playing and enjoy being here at Ball State. For Ball State Sports Link, I'm Josh Blessing.